So um, one thing I forgot to mention with two mallets that is going to be the same with four mallets is how we relate our pointer finger to our thumb. And this is like basic technique stuff. It's just going to make like a little T like that. Because um, if we get like this way, that is really uncomfortable and you can't rotate your wrist very well. And if you get like this, like same, same concept, you can't really rotate as well. Um, so yeah, we just have to make sure that the kids are maintaining that little fulcrum right there. But again, that shouldn't be like the main point of the fulcrum. It's kind of just like everywhere is equally distributed. Um, and also in terms of like placement, uh, I have this bad habit too. And a lot of kids that I've taught and have seen have this too. Like they like to put it, the mallet like out here just because they think it gets them better rotation. And like, it does get you like a pretty impressive rotation, but that's like really uncomfortable and it's like not healthy. Um, so if they're like doing this, try to just like tell them to bring their fingers inward. Um, like you can kind of see the difference. So like this way, your hand is like very outward facing and it looks super awkward. Um, but if they bring it in, uh, it's like so much easier to control. Um, yeah, so then in terms of pulsing, I'll go over that really quick. I don't want to do, I don't know, I think that like for the direction that our ensemble is going, the whole like this thing is like good if we're just like doing like a cymbal roll or like it's like the drum feature and we're just like, you know, rolling cymbals and hitting drums and stuff like that. But I think if we're going to like try to take it to the next level and be like professional, I think that we should um, pulse using our bodies and the way that we can do that is by driving our, can't really see it, but driving our right heel into the ground and I can get into this more. Uh, when I get there in the coming weeks, but so you're going to drive your, I would say left foot into the ground just so that the vine players can also do this because they'll be pedaling with the opposite foot. Um, so when you drive it into the ground, you kind of want to use it as like a breath. So if I, you can't see obviously, but if I put my foot into the ground, it's going to propel my body upward. Um, so it's just kind of like, I really think of it as like a breath, like you're breathing in and you're breathing out and we'll just do that on like the big beats if it's faster and like if it's like super slow we'll do it on like the quarter notes um, but we can define that as we go yeah and I think all in all like this is important in drumming too just make sure that their posture is good because um, like oftentimes whenever people start like they look good before they play and then they come up to play and they just like bend over or like hunch over like this or bring bringing your neck down and your head is probably like one of the biggest um, issues that I've seen. So just like, like tell them that they're, you know, in performance mode all the time and that they can't like look down at their keyboard all the time when they're playing at KIDA championships, you know. So yeah, just really focus on that. Uh, and like standing up straight and keeping your shoulders back in terms of posture. Cause like from experience, it's really uncomfortable to like be hunched over when you play. And uh, if you're all like tense like that, like that is, gonna hurt you so much um so yeah there's that